and this and other great figures at BigBadToyStore.com. What's going on, guys? Today we are taking a look at the Smash Strike figure from the new Godzilla movie. So let's go ahead, get him out of the package, and take a look. The first thing that eagle-eyed viewers are going to notice about Smash Strike Godzilla is that some of the things that are making up this figure aren't exactly the same. And what I'm speaking of specifically are the arms, the top of the head, the mouth, and the tip of the tail, and the feet. They're not the same plastic. They're this weird rubbery plastic that has this strange grit on it, almost like cornstarch or flour. It's very, very weird. And all of the really plasticky bit, or sorry, rubbery plastic bits look like they've been worn by about two to three years in sunlight. It's very strange and really, really shows that this is a cheap, cheap figure. And I mean cheaply made. I don't mean actually cheap. This is actually a pretty expensive toy at between $15 and $25. It's not cheap but it is very cheaply made. Way to go, Bandai. The main gimmick of this figure is his smashing action that is activated with this button here at the tail. Let's watch. Smashing Godzilla power. Um, smashing Godzilla power? Um, I said smashing power, not seizure power. What the hell's wrong with you, Zilla? As you just saw, the smashing gimmick doesn't work at all. It's more of a dino seizure gimmick than anything else. Now, I was trying to figure out why the heck this thing is such a piece of crap, and then I realized something. This is the same plastic that they used in the Thundercats figures right down to the same plastic pins in the arms. Yeah, this thing's a piece of junk. Um, it doesn't do anything. It has a seizure as opposed to an attack. The plastic is such that it's supposed to flop his arms around, but the plastic is too tight in the shoulders and a little bit too tight in these plastic pins. They just don't hold all together that well, except on the left side, which seems to flail a little bit, but you're not going to see it all that much. And then the mouth is supposed to open and close, but it's on this very loose gimbal that just flops around. So all you're getting is a Godzilla figure that looks like he has Tourette syndrome. That's not how I want to envision the King of Monsters. Overall, Smash Strike Godzilla is a terrible, terrible figure. It is a cheaply made figure, it is a bad looking figure, and it is a poorly gimmicked figure. If you want a good Godzilla figure, go ahead and get the much smaller, much cheaper Pack of Destruction Godzilla. It's a much more show accurate Godzilla, and you're going to have more fun with it overall. And I think what adds insult to injury is, even with Prime riding Godzilla, this figure still looks really dumb. I've been Ball Matrix. And I'll catch you next time.